I'm gonna go out and try to get some snapper today, but it looks like there's some clouds up there. I just hope I don't get rained on. There's a little drizzle right above us, but uh, I think it's gone now. I'm gonna see if I can find some live bait, but if I can't, I got. These guys should do pretty well for snapper, but um, I'll try to get some live pinfish. I got a chum block, just two two light rods and a, and a dream. Turn on, baby. Didn't even have to give a gas to a turn on. What a beauty! Well, literally, as I was pulling out of my marina over there. Sure enough, I come across a bunch of mullet, little finger mullet. I cast the net on them. Now I already got some live bait. It's a nice sized finger mullet. You probably can't see all the mullet, but there's just tons. I mean, tons of mullet just swimming all up in here. Normally I can't get bait out here, but you know, the hurricane has passed and winter is coming. And I guess I guess the fish bite is gonna really turn on, and the next few months are just gonna be epic! Alright, focus, Psycho, focus. Today we gotta catch some snapper. Let's go! Oh, and I'm pretty sure my dolphin friends have also just showed up. I was about to start driving, and they, uh, they popped up and said hello. Where'd they go? There they are! Come here, dolphins. Well, anyways, I'm gonna be running, um, I think this is called Baker's Cut. I'm gonna be running through here, all the way down to Tarpon Basin, or uh, whatever it's called. I'll try to pull it up on the map. But that's where I'm gonna start. So I'll put a chum block out into the current. It's currently 1.45 p.m. around like uh, three, three or four p.m. The tide's supposed to be running running the hardest and that's the best time to get get the snapper in your chum slick so we'll see what we can do here all right i got my gopro strapped on my chest like a real tool and now i can go out and catch fish and you can see what i'm doing so let's start running to the spot my new wind mic on too so if you can hear what I'm saying right now that's pretty amazing because we're going pretty fast and there's a lot of wind hopefully this thing was worth the money This is where I wanted to fish. Kind of seeing what the current's doing now. There's kind of someone in my spot over there, but it's okay. Hmm. So the current is almost non-existent right now, which is not very good for chumming. So maybe I'll just drive around and try to find a cool place since I have some time to burn. There's actually a spot, maybe like a mile from here, uh, near Tarpon Basin that I actually really like. So I think I'm gonna go there and hopefully no one's, no one's anchored up there because I'm just trying to find some peace and solitude right now. I don't need to be up against 
you know, anchoring up against other boats, dealing with that. All right, off we go. Well, the water is a lot more murky than it usually is, but that's not necessarily a bad thing. I guess I'm just gonna cruise around until I find some life or some action. If I see some fish hitting or if I see some schools or mark some schools, then uh, that's the spot I'm gonna pick. So I'm just gonna drive up and down this area and hope this spot presents itself or else I'm gonna go back to the uh, to that first spot I was initially at. Kind of liking this spot right here. I don't know. Hmm. I like being close up near near the opening because all the currents coming in from this opening, so I feel like it'll really push the fish in here. Spot looks pretty good right here. Whoops. Oh, peace and quiet. I think I'm really happy with this spot. I have a brand new chum holder, I guess. Yeah. You just put it in the water. I'm just gonna put it in in the wrapper inside of it and then pull the wrapper out once it kind of thaws out. Hook here with the weight. I'm just gonna hook him right under his back fin here, just like that. And I'll check him. Whoop! Right out there. I just got a few little nibbles. Oh, I just got a hit. Oh, getting hit, getting hit. I'm waiting for it to take it and run. I have the, oh, here we go, let's go. Oh yeah, and we're on. Oh, we are on. We'll see. I'm pretty hungry, so <laughs> if he makes the cut, I'll probably keep. There it is, a beautiful. Oh, actually, I think that's just a mangrove snapper. He's like 11 inches and he's small. I think I'm gonna catch some big ones, so I'm gonna let him go. I hope I don't regret this. It's okay, buddy. Just don't tell your friends what you uh, what you saw out here. He's a good looking guy though. There he goes. Whew. 
So I just keep my bail open and once I start getting tugs on here, I kind of like, mm, I just let line out. So this, whatever is eating my bait can kind of swim with it in its mouth and try to swallow it a little more. And then as soon as I, I can tell it's swimming with it in its mouth, that's when I set the hook. Any second now. Oh yeah, while I wait, I might as well take the chum out of here. Yeah, see, it comes out much easier once it's a little thawed. Okay. I'll let that fall to the bottom of the net just so it doesn't accidentally fall out. <laughs> Yeah, just me. <laughs> Go on, get anything? Um, I got a small snapper, but I threw him back in. He was Go back in. Well, he was actually over legal limit, but kept felt too bad keeping a small one. <laughs> you don't have any other fish on board? No, just uh, some finger mullet. What kind of boat is that? It's a Key Largo. Key Largo. You said uh, your uncle might have had this boat. Oh, okay. Yeah, I bought, bought it off someone in uh, Fort Lauderdale. Yeah, put a lot of work into it. <laughs> it wasn't running for like the last two, three months, but now it is. <laughs> yeah. All right, take it easy. All right, thank you guys. See? If you're nice, if you're nice to the police, they'll leave you alone. <laughs> or the, the FWC in that case. I just want to catch a fish. Come on. Oh, getting hit. Getting hit. Getting hit. Yep, I'm on. I'm on. <laughs> Ooh, what, what do we have here? Yes. <laughs> all right, all right, buddy. Okay, okay. Come on. Don't make me get my pliers. We don't need pliers. Oh, you unhooked yourself, cool. I'm only gonna keep him if he's over 12. He is 12 inches, so uh, <laughs> he's exactly 12 inches, so you know what, I'm going to keep him. If I had bigger fish on the boat, I, I would maybe let him back, but it's been a while since I had some real fresh fish, so I'm not about to let this guy get away from me, no way. No freaking way. I spend enough money on gas just to get here, so. Here you go, buddy. Woohoo! <laughs> oh, the water is so nice and fresh and crispy and cool. It's not like that lukewarm, it's like refreshing. 
<laughs> That's how you know the bite is turning on. <laughs> it's that time of year again. Woo! Where all the fish wake up and party. When you wake up and fresh, crisp morning air with a black coffee, maybe some milk. Mmm. That's, those are the times we're living in now. The best of times. There we go. Just hooked right through the back tail like that. Now we're gonna toss them out. Boop, right in that little corner. <laughs> uh, when fish go in the cooler is when I start to get excited. <laughs> Cause I know I'm gonna be eating them later and that's why. That's why I'm getting so excited right now. Oh, I'm on. Oh. Oh, it spit the hook right back at me. It was trying to freaking sabotage me. That fish was trying to hurt me. All right. If they want to play dirty, I'll play dirty. Oh yeah, here we go. Oh, something. Here we go. Oh, I lost it again. It swam all the way up to the boat yeah the current's really picking up too now so this is good this is all good oh oh something big just whacked in here we go I think this is gonna be something big right here ah oh, nothing missed him Move my spots, already put my chum bag up. Lost my bait anyway, so whoop de do. And then I'm gonna ride back to that first spot I wanted to go to. Hopefully there's not still a boat on it. And if there is, I'll just go a little um, down current of them. All right, this goes here. Interesting spot. This is the spot. The people that were anchored right over here earlier are gone now. So, looks like I have this spot all to myself. <laughs> that was a big splash. I think this will do. I can already see a little uh, little glass minnows going after the chum. So that's a good sign. The last spot we were at, there's I didn't see any glass minnows or anything. All right, first try at the new spot, the original spot I wanted to go to. So. Kind of some high hope for this one. Yeah, I'm on, on something. Another snapper. Nah. He is legal, but I'm not gonna keep him. Adios, buddy. Sh 
shit. Pretty sure I just had a snapper rip. Rip that mullet right off my hook. Oh no, nope. It's still on there. Oh yeah, and it's on. Sweet. Ow. Ooh, he's trying to bite me. He's almost 12 inches, but I'm going to let him go. Freedom, buddy. Off he goes. There's only four mullet left, so... Come on, I need the big guy to bite. Just put on my rain jacket because it just started raining. Where the GoPro's gonna get wet? I was hoping I wouldn't have to open these, but I am opening them now. I'll throw a couple out there. Let the fish get excited. Let them know what they're what they're in for. All right, so I'm gonna I'm gonna take this weight off because I want I want to put maybe two or three of these on a hook and then just kind of let them flow back with the current. So I don't need a hook. I mean a weight. Take that off. Easy peasy. kind of let him go back with the current oh and I'm on <laughs> look at this guy that was fast sweet he's too small to keep but that was a pretty fun Ooh, he's a feisty one He's a feisty one. Ow! Woo! Got me. All right. All right, all right. Let's calm down. All right, we understand. You're excited. I'm excited. We're both excited. All right. Look at that teal color under his eye. That's real cool. I'm going to let him go. There he goes. Man, these, these glass minnows, wow, that was quick. Okay, I see it's sinking. Oh, and someone's already got it. Ah, uh, I think the bait came off. Yeah, the bait came off. That was quick though. Yep, I'm on, there we go. Another little baby. The nice thing about using kind of a big hook for these little fish is they never swallow it. It's right outside their mouth or their lip, see? Very easy to remove that hook. So we'll let him go. Here's a big juicy one, look at that. Right in the head. All oh, these snapper are getting aggressive. I don't know if you can see them right there, but I'm gonna try to get something going. Oh, a tiny, tiny snapper. This is the smallest one we've got yet. Another one, another small one, jeez. Okay. Oh, he unhooked himself. Marvelous. Woo, there he goes. The party pack. This is what we need. Pull the chum bag, get the chum dispersed. 
Then they ball up behind the boat. And then I sneak my bait right in there with the rest of it all. I see a bunch of small ones, but I see some big ones down there too. Ah, got another small one. There you go. Not big, but a fighter. Are you kidding me? This is what I catch. I'm trying to catch a pinfish. <laughs> Oh yeah, I saw him grab that too. The snapper has a really weird growth on it. You see that? What is that? It's growth. Let me take a picture of that. Oh, what's this? Hello, big old pinfish. Hey, this could potentially be bait. I mean, it's a huge pinfish, pro like probably too big for these snapper here, but this is a nice size pin. Look at that. Look at that bait. I'm actually gonna use him for cut cut slices because these are really good baits, so this could be the key to making today successful. Okay, he's already dead. So, this might be the answer to all of our problems. Nice big piece to attract a nice big snapper. Hello there, buddy. Look, he won't let go of it. He will not let go. Another one gets to taste a little bit of freedom. All right, I'm calling it a day. Oh, and there's fish getting whacked over there. If I had some more live bait, hmm. I just got covered in mud water. Smart me.
I'm trying to get to the fillet station down there so I can fillet my fish, but this iguana wants to say hey. What's up, iguana? Ooh. You don't have to go in the water, don't worry. Whoa! Whoa. Okay. Anyways. All right, well, I'm just gonna gut him and descale him. Maybe cut some of his fins off too. Descaling makes one hell of a mess, I'll tell you that. This is probably not the best knife to use for this. Now we're just going to cut into the fish. If you want to smell like fish for the rest of the day, it's just wearing a glove. Also, you want to tear out You also want to tear out the lungs or the gills, I mean. There we have it. Scaleless. Clean fish. I also suggest cutting a couple slits in turn.
Yeah.